Welcome back to another AQ World Infinity video. We're continuing off with the design notes from last week. Let's go. Today's big objective was testing the dialoguer. This is our dialogue cutscene editor. Tunic showed up for a meeting early and was forced to sit through the icon, rogue meeting, and healer meetings, all which went well over time. Way over time. When we finally got to test the refactor dialoguer, it worked pretty good. And trust me, I was purposely trying to break the living heck out of it. I found a few edge case bugs, but nothing that will survive until tomorrow when we retest it. I spent today AFKing in AQ Worlds. While discussing healer with Immortal Joe and Nolgath, I hopped on to see what the current skill animations were. Then like every other time, I stayed there for hours. Healer class skill brainstorming. As far as the existing AQ World's healer class animations, there's no original animations. Other than the heal skill spell, the healer class does not have anything that looks special. We're brainstorming some fun things we can do for Infinity. First thought is that all of the healer skills are ranged, so we want to give it a ranged auto attack like Mage has. Something bright and illuminated that distinguished itself from the mage's magic missile. Perhaps a single, slower, beefier, holier moving ball of light? We're going to need Ghost's help on the particles. For the healer's big attack, we thought it would be fun if the healer lifted their weapon and hurled a bolt into the sky, which would then strike back down on the foe, delivering furious retribution. Would be pretty comical if there was a map where your character was so small you could see where the beam going up ends. One thing is for certain, we want to replicate and man maintain that classic AQ world heal effect when you cast heal. A spreading beam of yellow light with starbursts. Disclaimer, I should not have said that out loud. Now there's going to be a 99% chance it is somehow different. Wednesday. With Lydia, apparently. Good evening. When you see these update posts dropping at 11 p.m., you get a pretty good sense of how the day has been going. There was an important meeting with the coders over restructuring the code that managed our asset bundles and repositories. But instead of putting you to sleep with the details of that, how about we talk about the rogue class skills? Ghost showed off the new animations he made, and then we discussed what sort of skill we should use for the stiletto attack. Then J6 said, Wait, I have an icon you could use for the stiletto. Then he posted this. <laughs> it's a stiletto facepalm, which caused me to open up Photoshop. So there's the tornado the day after tomorrow. <laughs> Thumbs up, special effects. And then comes the thumb comment. Got me thinking, it does sort of look like a thumb. So there's a thumb drive. And Thumbelina. Oh man, that is so funny. The game is hitting a point where all the devs are losing their sanity. The design notes are a window into that descent into madness. Admit it, this is secretly the real reason you read them. Thursday. There was an eerie silence today. There was a very little chatter while everyone's working on their Infinity Game Dev projects, formerly J6 and JX. Apparently the real story is he just wanted to be J. But the game did not allow single letter names for characters, so now he is just J. And I did a walkthrough of the dialoguer. This is the tool we use to make cutscenes. Now that is, it is functional, we have a short window to improve the UI and make it more user friendly. It really makes me appreciate how Macromedia, Macromedia the company that originally made Flash after Adobe bought them built their tool. It was an extremely complex program, but they did it really in intuitively. Unity, on the other hand, I have no idea what they were thinking when they built the animator. Animating in Unity is, in my opinion, a terrible experience. I could write a novel on how infuriating the, inter the interface is, especially the drop-down menus, not having scroll bar handles. So if you have 60 plus animations in a list, you have to sit there and scroll down the list with your mouse wheel, which is just excruciatingly slow. It takes forever. I digress. In other news, it appears Warlick already recently restructured the asset bundle code. Remember, the thing we did not talk about yesterday. Well, it's done. So, gonna call today a win. Friday, best day of the week. Final weekend of Mogloween begins. Time travel to unlock early access, but then there is no post, and I waited until today, which is Monday, to make this video because I was hoping by then it would have been posted, but obviously I guess nothing really happened. Friday, so we'll have to see what the new week brings us. And that is it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and keep those swords swinging.